so I think Tobias actually is almost ready to go into pupa form. One of the things I learned is that when they're at least three inches, it's about when they start getting to the size where they do it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but one of the other things that they said is when they get bigger, you can see their aorta, the vein that connects to their heart. When he wasn't moving, you can kind of see a little bit better. There's a decently visible blue vein on the very on his back. Do you kind of see it? It's a little hard. I'm going to try not to poke him. But you see this little blue vein that's pulsing? They said when you can see that and you can see it pulsing, that means they're probably within just a couple days or so of going to pupa form. And what he's doing right now is what they call the wandering stage, where they might do this for a couple days. So he stopped eating. And he's just been really active. There you go. Now you can see that aorta. See it pulsing? Isn't that so cool? So he's in his wandering stage, and eventually what he's going to do is he's going to bury himself. And in three to four days or something like that, or maybe about a week, he will be the elegant sphinx hawk moth. I got him at just the right time. So just to be sure that he's not going to starve and that he is in his pupa stage, I'm going to put some more manzanita leaves back in there. But super cool. He's now trying. Let me go. Let me go. I got to get out. Oh, God. All right. Well, that's Tobias. Hopefully he'll be a cool hawk moth in, in about two weeks. Go, buddy, go.